I'm gonna make something like this and Okay, so I just subdivide this a bunch of times, really. Um, and I'm lucky as this is on the zero zero position. I'll explain why later on in a second or two. Um, this one is not connected to the other polygons. It's just an advantage, advantage really, when doing this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the twist tool and it will start out like that and that's what's sucky about this that it starts out like that and then you go okay how do I move this stuff up here well why the hell do we not have a uh, get polygon selection button here like Bang, and then it will fit directly into this area. Oh, how sweet that would be, right? But no, we don't have that. Um, so what I need to do, I need to zoom in here, take this one, take that one, copy this one, and say twist, and paste that in, set this one to zero, and okay, the first selection is all right next up take this one you can see it doesn't really select it though I mean it selects it up here but not here so be careful copying this one well is copying that one the one you had before so you'll have to click here and then copy I don't know why that is anyway so another thing that might go wrong um, go here and never ever click apply when automatic is on that will reset the whole shebang here click fixed paste in here and set that to zero and there we go okay so i got something so now you can see that the twist luckily is in the very middle of that object okay so that's why I'm lucky having this this um, object resting on the zero zero so I can have zero 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 in this position uh, I mean in this fixed state so you can see how much of a hassle this could be uh, again if I click automatic and apply now or if I forget forget and do that then I'll have to do all of this over again quite fun okay anyway click on fixed set Y and let's turn it 360 degrees but hey no it doesn't do that because it's not real time a hey, fun so hit apply and undo Try again, hit apply, and undo, but that's okay, so we'll leave it like that. Okay, so I think you get it. I'm not really a fan of this twist tool stuff and the lack of uh, the lack of uh, fall off options based on the selection is just a drag really anyway so I'm kind of like done complaining about that so let's have a look at this stuff and what I want to do is I want to well what I could do now is I could use I, I want this not to be sharp so I want to delete that edge so I'll just loop that and hit delete but that takes seconds, many many seconds. It takes forever really. So you don't want to do that. Most likely. So what I'll do instead. Um, so I'll use something that works. 
um, that is the blank band blur band glue um, thing though let's see I'll do this thing though is that um, it only works <laughs> at one band so I'll have to take each of these by themselves so back glue and you see that took one second so I have no idea why that delete edges is so slow anyway uh, go like this okay Like that. Okay, so you see the speed is well quite different. Like this, all right. Angle. Okay, so you can see now though that this area here is kind of like you see how these polygons or edges are behaving like that, and then it goes like this, and then it goes like that, and like this. It's not really a good workflow, is it? So, what I should have had was polygons going or edges going like this. Anyway, that's not really all that easy to fix. Um, not really sure if, okay, so if I do this and then triple it, Okay, that did help. So maybe you want to do that. Um, and then merge triangles. Let's see. Okay, that's better. Much better. Uh, okay, cool. So we'll do that then. Go like this. Triple merge triangles. That's better. So, okay. Getting there. Um, I could also, I could even triple this one more time, but I'm not really sure if. Worth it. Let's see, triple marsh triangles. Wow, I never knew that would work. That's pretty cool. Huh, learn a new trick, I guess. Triple marsh triangles and continue doing this. What do you know? Okay, nice. Very good. Next step is to move these guys. Let's see. No. I'll move the edges. better though. 
than it used to. Uh, so I think I'll just leave it like that and expand and uh, convert that to polygons. Not really sure if it's necessary to smooth this out. Not sure if that helps all that much. Just drop it. Anyway, uh, you can see that it looks pretty good now. Um, so I'll just turn on the smoothing while that is on. So uh, the advantage by using this kind of uh, or, or using the twist tool is that you have this edge here starting at this edge right here. So, and it ends up at this edge right here. So, that's that's the advantage of using this by using the twist tool. But again, they really need to fix this. You know, make that work on a polygon selection, just please, and also real time. Okay, so anyway, 